This has an RTX 4090 and a 13900K, and oh my gosh, is it small. So let's start with a small box. Nah, screw that. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna do the big box. This is the newest update from Falcon Northwest. I'm gonna try and do a better unboxing than Jay did here. Check this out. Okay, get this out of the way. And look at how much smaller this box is than the first box. That is so small. I guess the best way to just do it is is do it this way. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, I don't know what that was. The Falcon Northwest frag box right there. Wow, that is not light. But there it is. Now that we've unboxed it and we got it set up, I wanna talk a little bit about the frag box because these guys engineer everything, whether that's their talon that's back there or their frag box, like 3D modeling, tons and tons of testing, three different prototypes because they're not just used for gaming, right? They're used for like product demonstrations from like Intel, they're used in Hollywood, they're used by the military. This is a uncompromised form factor 13900K 4090 system. You don't get a better better built system anywhere else. I would even argue DIYers, unless they're building custom rigs like this, don't have the same forethought um, or engineering testing that these guys have done to make what they've made in this regard. Their Falcon cooler actually has a, a cold plate big enough to cover the IHS of both uh, Intel's and even a Threadripper without any issue whatsoever. There is a realm that you could configure this to be something that might be more akin for a gaming experience. Let's just be crazy. Check this out. If you were gonna do 40 terabytes and everything being absolutely high end, uh, your total cost uh, ends up being $9,534. But the version that I have here, again, 5,500 bucks. We have a Core i9-13900K. Uh, we have a PNY RTX 4090. We have an Asus ROG Strix Z690G gaming Wi-Fi. So there's DDR5 RAM in here. So we got Kingston Fury, 6,000 megahertz DDR5, Kingston Fury M.2 in here. And then a Silverstone 1000 watt platinum SFX-L PSU. When you compare this to you know, any normal PC, like an NR200P or, you know, honestly, let's just, let's just, here, here we go. Let's just go grab our NR200P. This has got a 3080 Ti, 5950X, I think a 240 millimeter AIO. This is a 280 millimeter custom AIO, 4090 and a 13900K. Yeah, there we go. There's a size. It just says I need to be unboxed. So let's figure out how to kind of take this out. Ooh, those are nice. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Wow, look at how much room you have in here. You're still gonna get additional forced air uh, into your AIO this way. So we'll have to see what temps are like over here. This isn't using a riser cable. This is actually just the MOBO specifically. And then all of the, look at how, look at how cable managed that is. And then these fans, their cable management is ridiculous. I mean, in terms of just look at how well this is all run. And you can actually see it could do up to four slots here. But this four slot right now is just to add additional cooling. Hey, there it is, Robitech. Look, there I am. It's my box. Okay, so that's pretty epic. Let's put it back together. And then let's uh, let's turn it on. That seems like uh, the real fun right there. The Discord are gonna crush me because they're like, what? It's Intel. My colors are red. I want it to, to red, black, and white. It's my, okay. Anyway, that's not the point. I turned it on the first time and I was like, I couldn't believe how quiet it is. Now this is idle, 50 decibels. We'll see what the temperatures get up to. Right now at idle, that is, uh, that is pretty dang awesome. So at idle, 30s and 40s, we've gone ahead and installed everything that we need to basically do our testing. So we got Cinnamon Char 23 in here, we've got extreme tuning utility, so we can do our tracking. Uh, and then we've also got CPU and D hardware monitor. Uh, active core is there, 5.8 on two active, 5.5 five on all core. So we should see 5.5 five on all core. And then of course, I'm guessing more than likely, uh, they're gonna hit current EDP limit throttling. Based on conversations I have with Falcon, there have been updates to or BIOS settings in here just to keep uh, stock 
voltages for Intel CPUs versus just letting them do runaway boost and amperage to basically blow things out of the water. Again, this is a small form factor build. Um, so, you know, there's obviously some things that they're going to do to keep performance uh, at a good place without basically overblowing the cooler, etc. cetera, uh, if that was an issue. Let's just take a look, see what we get for Cinebench. We will have some level of uh, thermal limit, right, that we'll actually hit for sure. But right now, here's our package temperature starting to go up. And then even here, we were looking at five, four, pretty much max core frequency across the board, a couple five fives, which is what we should hit. And it is boosting there. Uh, temperatures slowly climbing. We'll track this for 10 minutes. It's a 10 minute run. And then we'll basically took a, take a look at the results and see where this whole thing ended up. Now, real quick, I wanted to, before we got back to like into the gaming or the wrapping up, they told me at Falcon Northwest, which they actually pointed out, which I completely missed when we had unboxed this. So when we turn it over, wow, sorry for the dirty fingerprints, but this is essentially a place, if there was an M.2 right here, uh, in, in, in a motherboard that you ordered, you could put in your slot in your M.2. There's actually even enough room here to put in a uh, heat sink and still have clearance at the bottom. So just a neat little like attention to detail thing that they added. And then the last thing that I wanted to point out, which, you know, I'm, I'm just finding out all these unique things. If we take the top off here, you see these screws here at the top and then also down here at the bottom? That's actually so you can actually remove the handle. So you could, if you wanted to, make this a completely flat surface. Now, one thing that Falcon Northwest did say though, is that they one of the reasons that they kind of kept the handle on it is they didn't want you to stack like a bunch of frag boxes. So it was to keep some, you from putting stuff on top of it, which are on, obviously given the airflow and how it works, compromise this thermally. So neat little kind of additional things that they added to the frag box. I wanted to show those off real quick. Okay, so we're here back at the end of this. I wanna, I wanna stop here, we have about 13 seconds left. You can definitely see it's basically hit its thermal limit. We're seeing temperatures and core clocks go down. So it's five, three, five, one. Remember it's set to five, five. So we've gone from five, five, all the way down to mostly five, three, some five twos, some five ones there, but definitely hitting near the end in terms of soaking here. And there it is right there, 39,463. So I'm gonna pause this right here. So it took about four minutes, three or four minutes for basically to hit thermal throttling. Then you saw it basically pop back down and then you got a little bit more time and then you hit the thermal throttle. Now the interesting thing here is you can look at the P cores, kind of staying right around 5.3, 5.2, a little bit like they've got a 5.29 right there. So we lost about 200 megahertz it was still always boosting up to 5.4, which was what the Intel stock is when you basically look at what their number is. But again, you did see that drop pretty, uh, pretty instantaneously. But for the most part, a Cinebench score of 39,463 is bonkers. Very, very incredible cooling uh, from this thing. You can see in the BIOS uh, that th that you can undervolt these. We did verify that. So could we do any undervolting to just try and improve these temperatures a little bit more? Core voltage offset. Let's see if we can get like a 0.4 and see what that does. So we're going to do apply, continue. Let's run multi-core and see where this ends up. Okay, temperatures. Ooh, that's probably a little too much. That's fine. Uh, let's change our core voltage. Let's change it up to 0.3. Oh, nope, not even that. Do we have any room is the question. Okay, trying this, 0.2. Okay, that seems to be doing okay. Let's see how temps do here. I don't know if we can get any higher than this though. This might be the best we're gonna be able to get. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like on the edge of my seat right now. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it thermal throttled at two minutes. We're still, I mean, like much higher jump. Negative 0.02 ended up being uh, too much and we saw a crash there too. Undervolting, eh, kind of hit or miss. Obviously they bend the crud out of these things. So um, overall we were losing about, oh, look at that. We got all the way down to 5.3. So almost hundred megahertz all up. Yes, there are obviously limitations here. But I would, I would dare you to find a small form factor PC that's about this size, that is as quiet, as performant, and cools as well in an uncompromised manner. There is obviously compromises given the size of this, this PC, but man, Falcon Northwest is showing you not a whole lot. And for those customers, again, who buy these kind of things, they are getting an awful lot in a very small package without much to be concerned about.
We'll test some Cyberpunk 2077. Let's just do a little 1440p game in here. Graphics, we're at ray tracing on ultra. Hi, we'll set DLSS, this is 1440p. Yeah, let's go ahead and just run our benchmark and let's take a look at our temps. 279 watts of power, temperatures on the 13900K, high 70s, low 80s. Okay, so seems like that's fine. Let's throw in a little uh, brand new game. Let's check out Spider-Man. V-Sync is off. And then NVIDIA Reflex is on. Let's leave frame generation off just because graphics, we're gonna put it on very high. Ray Trace Shadow, very high. Let's go ahead and hit play. A beautiful game. 13.9 sitting at 74. PNY 4090 sitting at 46. The thing is quiet. Wow, this is pretty. 164 watts, 45 degrees on the PNY and 80 degrees on the CPU. So no problem there from a gaming standpoint. Let's let's end it up with a little Call of Duty. Custom frame rate limit off. DLSS. Medium. Low. Off. 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 Low. Low. On. Off. Off. Zero. Okay, there we go. So now we have settings, good. Temperatures were in the high 70s, low 80s at the worst, right? Like all in all, I mean, just, it's an absolute beast system to game on. Let's wrap it up. Four days later, two costume changes, a haircut and more. Let's finally wrap this up. I wanna give a huge shout out to Falcon Northwest for letting us basically be a world exclusive in terms of reviewing and taking a look at this piece of hardware. It's, it's crazy, but I, 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 need to, I need to address the elephant in the room and that's, let's talk about price. This is not for every average day consumer. I am very well aware of how expensive this PC and I'll be honest, Falcon is very aware of that as well. But you need to understand, this has been engineered end to end to be a comprehensive system. I was talking a bit about uh, DIYers earlier on that you know they don't have the same thing at this level unless they make like a custom case. And what this is, this is a custom case made out of the best thickest materials to uh, function as a unit. Everything was built around the hardware instead of where we'll take a case and then put hardware in it. This whole thing was engineered specifically with the hardware that it's gonna have inside of it in mind. I would dare to say that you're probably not going to find a PC of this size that is as performant, as rugged, and as quiet as you will see with the frag pox. But the only two I wanna add when we talk a little bit about price is obviously the warranty. Remember it's three years parts on this. And then for the first year, any issue that you're to have when you're using this system, so like if you're on the phone, you can't get it solved, they will pay to overnight it to their office, fix it, and then overnight it back to you. So the most you are out without your system uh, is 24 hours. And for, com for companies like Epic, NASA, uh, you know, uh, uh, the US government, you know, who basically offloads Apache map data onto these things. That's really important to not have a system be down for that long and you're, you're paying for that too. Obviously there are some compromises when you have a system that's this size and this small and you have to keep it cool. And there were some things that Falcon Northwest did to the BIOS to ensure that those comp, that this system would run that way, that you didn't have uh, the 13900K uh, just driving off with runway. And you saw that with, the, with the, limit, the current limiting and stuff like that that we showed in the BIOS a little bit earlier. But uh, like I said, performance versus the Nook, you know, with the same thing, 13900K, and that doesn't have a 4090 in it, is like night and day. What this thing is capable of, uh, if you're a gamer, I mean, she, I mean, I, like a lack of a word is like she, I mean, you're not, you're just not gonna get a much better system than that. So let's go ahead and make a system uh, like that again and uh, see what you think. One of the things that I did promise and I kind of alluded to earlier is I, I would tell you about a more practical version of this if I were to go and build a gaming version of this processor. I went with a Core i7-13700K for memory, 32 gigs of 5200 megahertz. For our operating system drive, I just kept a one terabyte Crucial P2 NVMe SSD. Now the game drive, you have two options here. You can use a two terabyte or you can actually add a four terabyte. But yeah, there you go. There's your configuration. Uh, just a measly $5,400 for such an incredibly small powerful package that is incredibly well built, uh, that is engineered from end to end, uh, both thermally and everything else like that to offer as little compromise 
for a small form factor build as you potentially can. But that is it for this video. I would love to know your thoughts on uh, on this on this uh, rig. I, I, let us know down in the comments below, would you buy something like this? I mean, is this something that you're even interested in? Would you love to see like just, would you love to have a system like this? Uh, and then how many of you guys actually have a use and what would that use be? Uh, let me know all that down in the comments below. Now while you're down there, you know, if you like content like this and you want us to continue to have like world exclusive coverage of uh, system integrated builds, uh, stuff like this from Falcon or any of the other like main gear origin, etc., uh, then make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Just, just lightly tap it and ring that notification bell. So when we post more videos like this, you are the first ones to become aware and you can come watch them right away and let us know your thoughts. Cause I read the comments. I try to spend the first 30 or 40 minutes that a video goes live in the comments and reading what is actually happening. Uh, if you want to continue the conversation, uh, head on over to discord.gg slash Robitech. Uh, we have an incredible uh, community there um, who would love to just basically chat more if you have questions about this stuff or just about PC building in general. Uh, also, uh, make sure that you uh, follow us live. We Sometimes we do these, we benchmark them live. We'll probably end up doing that with this as well uh, on what's called pre-built in gaming, where we'll actually show all of this stuff live. You can ask questions live. That's going to be over at youtube.com slash Robitech Live, our big, our big brother channel, or you can check it out over at twitch.tv slash Robitech or we stream there as well. Uh, check us out on all the other socials. I mean, we're gonna have lots of other social content around this. Uh, so you can find stuff on this uh, on uh, TikTok, like this cool video right here. Or maybe you just like pretty builds and you wanna check out pretty builds like this over on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed the video guys and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.